Cal from Cal's Crafts. Welcome back if you've been before. And hi, this is your first time. This is where I've got an unboxing. So I have got my wax melt burning today. Um, this is a peony, um, which has been burning. So I'm just going to move that to the side because I'm running out of candles. So I've had that burning today for anybody that needs prayers, thoughts or positivity. Now I think... This is a parcel that was gifted to me from paintwithdiamonds.com. So we'll have a look. I'm pretty sure it is. But let's see if we can get into it. If you just get a scissors. Just get a scissors in there. Yep, paint with diamonds. They asked if I would review one of their canvases. So I said, yeah, no problems. I said I'd give a fair um, review. You know, if I don't like it, I will say. If I find problems, I will say. But if it's if it's something I really like, I will say, you know. And they said, yep, yeah, fine. So they can't... Oh, when did I get this? Let me have a look. 20th of October we were talking so I think that's probably roughly somewhere around there I can't remember <laughs> so, so so much has happened since then but um yeah and uh so I had a look and I found Sheena Pike because I love Sheena Pike's dragons and um, well, I've got hers off Diamond Art Club. Little Dragon, or is it Dragon Z? I can't remember. But her other collection of dragons, which I love, are licensed to diamond with paint with diamonds. Now, because I'd not um, dealt with this company, I did contact Sheena Pike directly, and she very kindly answered me within sort of 10 minutes, I couldn't believe it, and asked her if she was licensed to this company, because I wasn't sure, because you don't know anybody anymore if they are, and she said, yes, yes I am, I'm licensed to them with this collection, and I've got one with Diamond Art Club. So I said, great, because I've got that one from Diamond Art Club, but I wanted this one. Since I've seen her artwork, this is the one that I really wanted. So yeah, so... As you can see, it's in a mess. It's had a little bit of a batter, but you, nothing much. But you expect that, how far it come. Um, I don't know what size I got, because I just told them what I liked. And uh, they said they'd send it. So it says here, paint with diamonds. You get one adhesive can canvas, some diamonds, a pen, some tweezers, a wide tip, wax, and a tray. And then it tells you there how to actually diamond paint. And then you've got the join the paint with diamonds club and then you've got satisfaction guaranteed on there yeah and it says it's a choking hazard and i even think they've got if you've made a mistake or had an accident we'll replace your kit for free free policy now so which is good so right, let's have a look. So we've got a canvas which is on one of them, I call them pool rolls, but I don't know what they actually are. Oh my God, that's a lot of diamonds. Is that everything? Oh, that's everything out of there. Then we have, right, because it's first, what have we got? We've got, welcome to the family. Now let's get started. Oh, look, it shows you again on there. So you've got a piece of paper with all that. And it's got your pro tips. Don't peel all the whole cover at once. Use baby wipes to get dirt off canvas. And seal your finished painting if you want to. Some people do, some people don't. That is preference. That is preference. Oh, it has, look, it says free out insurance. Don't cry over spilled drawers. Drop your diamonds. Canvas, lose its stickiness. No worries. We'll replace your kit for free. Just email us and write in the subject line. So there you go. So that's good to know. Right, we'll get this out to relax. I'm pretty sure it's, I don't know whether it's, I think it must be, I don't think it's poured glue though. I think it's um, 
adhesive. Let me have a look. Ah, uh, yeah, super straight canvas adhesive. I prefer poured glue only because I do tend to have a lot of trouble with bubbles and stuff. But. And this does come from China, so I have a piece of tape there. I'll just run that over there. So we have got um, we have got a key there. Oh, sorry, I've got. So we've got forty-eight colours, guys, and that's what it is. Look, this is um, what's it called on here? Sunflower by Sheena Pike. seeing what it says yeah Ooh. so we'll unroll it oh my god it's a biggie guys <laughs> I only wanted the little diddly one but they sent me a bigger one okay It's unrolling pretty good for a for a, what you may call it. Um, now you can pull each of these up and then stick them back down. Now they have overlapped quite a bit with the self adhesive, as you can see, it comes out to there. You can use a knife and just go around the edges and cut it off. That's quite simple. There is videos on that. Or you can put a washi tape. Sorry, you can't see, can you? I can't come up much higher. You can put washi tape over your your sticky bits. So we're just going to let that sit for a minute. Oh, I'm just going to have to lie. This is um, an 80 by 60. So it is lying pretty flat, to be fair. Yeah? Right, so we have a look at the... the the care, uh, what's it called? Your toolkit. So you have the usual white funnel. Yeah, nothing special about that, just a normal white funnel. We've got the little plasticky pen, single tip there, your fourth placer there, which is my favourite, a grippy, and it is a bit sparkly, so that's nice. We have, have we got plastic? No. We have got the red. Now these are razor sharp point. I use these for my um, diaries to take um, the backing off stickers. These are razor razor sharp, and I mean razor sharp. So be careful with them. And then we have your wax. And if anybody doesn't know how to use your wax, you just get your pen, push it in, make sure you take your plastic off, and it'll just go in how much you need. So you get two blocks of that. So nice and simple. Right. I can't, they haven't got any. Oh, they're all kitted up as well. Even better luck. They're all in baggies, so you don't even need to kit this, this up. You can work straight out the bag. Sorry, that's off my table. I had some more chipping stuff on here. Yeah? So I'm trying to. I might have to do a, a zoomy one on there to show you some of it. I'm trying to think where it's the best to go from. So we've only got one key, which is down the side there, which is at the top, but it's on the side, which I would prefer it, and I would say to them as well, that if you're going to have a canvas this size, um, put them down these sides if you're going to do it yeah so i'm gonna to have to put a picture of this on because there's no way i'm gonna pull all this off um what i might do is pull some of these back Oops. actually i'll measure it before i pull it back no well, i'm gonna to have to pull it back and it's not lying so. all right i'll to eat my words right so all you do 
Let's pull that back and see. And we'll see if it's sticky, which it is. And I will show you the symbols, can you see? Which are absolutely crystal clear, to be fair. They have got training wheels on them, which are the round bits, but that's fine. They'll get covered with the drill. They don't bother me. So. The only thing with these is you can't see the picture until after. I will pull some of this. Oh, hang on, that's the, that's the doodah so tape, isn't it? I'm going to have to put another piece on there because I've just ripped it. But that's fine. Yeah, so you can see it's really lovely yellow colour. There's no wrinkles that I can see off, but I'll flip it over as well. And I'm just going to flatten them down for now. I'll just put that piece back over there, back over there like that, that'll do. I know I've got a gap there but I'll sort that out after because I start fiddling now, I will be here all day. So I'm going to get my tape measure. Uh, so we'll go from there to there which is dead on 60. And I know you can't see where I'm taping it there, but because it is too big for me to get on. And hang on, dead on 80 there. So it, the drill area is how they've said it is. Okay. So if you didn't see what the picture was before, I'll bring it in. So it is sunflower luck. She is beautiful. As I say, she's by Sheena Pike and I love it. It's 80 by 60. Now I'm going to turn it over for the simple reason is with these, I should have cleaned my table, shouldn't I? Oh well. It's my canvas because I'm having this one. You would be able to see like ripples. If, you know, if you've got any bubbles on this type of canvas, you tend to see it in the back of the canvas as well. You'll see like bubbling and creases and stuff like that. And I haven't. This is quite a thick, nice canvas. It's quite pliable. I don't know what canvas they use, but yeah. But it's quite nice. So yeah. So I'll just turn it back there. Should we have a look at the drills? So I'm very grateful to them. Because there's this. Oh, I'm gonna put... And if you do get the odd creases in them, don't worry, you can get them out. I have got a video, and if I remember, I'll put it in here. So, look at the colours. I'm not going to get them all out, because I never get them all back in the bag. So, that's the main colour of the yellows, look. For the sunflowers, I'll pull some of them out. And with these, they've got your number, and they've got that there. Is your DMC number and that's telling you how many's in here, which is all on your key as well. So you can find out your symbols on here, on there. So they look quite good to be fair. I cannot see any dimpling or add on bits. They are rounds. I don't, you don't usually get tweezers with rounds, but. They look quite good, to be fair. What about these dark colours? Yeah, they look all right. So as I say, with these, you can work straight out the bag, which is great. You can kit it up if you want, guys, and if you don't, it don't, doesn't matter. Now, is that our canvas number? I'm saying yes it is, that there on here. So if you want to store your canvases and your drills separately, 
Can you see that there? That number there matches that number there. See? PSDR4394. And it tells you that it's 68. So if you store, some people store all these in a tub and then store these in a wardrobe under a bed or whatever they want. So you can do that. So I do want to show you the symbols. See if there's any on here that this chart is quite small, but you could scan it into your computer and then enlarge it if you want to. Yeah. I can't really see any that's going to, the only ones that might fox me is 35 there. It's like a Y with a little line and that V there. Similar colour, similar style. So, but as for the rest, pretty much okay by the look of it, which is nice. But as again, so you've got your numbers, your symbol, your DMC and how many you've got. So all the information that you need is on there. Right, I'll tell you the price. This one, let me see. It starts off, oh, I don't want to do that. I need to go back, right. It starts off from, the smallest they do is 15 by 20, which is 16 pound. But you're not going to get a lot of detail in, in that size. You're really not. Um... It goes then 30, 40. 30, 40 is quite a nice size to start off with if you're not quite sure what you're doing. 45 by 60, 60 by 80, which is this one. And then you go up to 75 by 100. And the biggest they do is 90 by 120. Now, this one costs £54. is 60 by 80. And if you wanted to go for the 90 by 120, that's 92 pound. The 30, 40 um, is 31 pound. That's the one I usually go for. And they do do it in square and they do do it in round. So, you know, it's up to you whether you think that's a good price, not price. For, for a licensed work, I wouldn't mind paying that. But as I say, I was very kindly gifted it to try it out. Um, and I can't wait to do this one, but I'm going to keep this one um, and I'm going to do this in the spring because there's always a spring along or something for us to join in. So that's what I'm going to do. So you'll be seeing that one. But if this one's OK, I will be buying more. I will be buying some because I do like this collection. So if you've got any questions you want to ask about the kit, about paintwithdiamonds.com, you can talk to them, they're easy to talk to. As I say, Sheena Pike as well. I talked to had a good chat with her over it. So yeah, I love it. Absolutely love it. As I say. Yeah, I can't fault it so far. But as I say, proof in the pudding is when you come to do it. And then we'll do a final review, post review, once I've done it and then thing. So I'm going to upload this. Let me know what you think. Do you like uh, Sheena Pike's work? I, as I say, she's got some beautiful dragon ones. Um, I like her other work, but I love this one. <laughs> I love this collection. So I'm going to leave the details of what I can remember down below. I'm going to render it now and get it up. So leave in the comments what you think. Do you think it's worth it to pay for a licensed piece um, down below? And if you haven't subscribed, you might start fancy staying around or ring in the old bell by the side to let you know when I go live or when I upload videos, which is a couple of times a week. So all that's left for me to say is details are down below. If you do want to contact me, everything about me, my Etsy, my Patreon, my shops, everything down below is to take care, look after yourselves, and most importantly, guys, Stay safe. Bye for now.